If you're trying to turn your app idea into reality, this video is for you. Today, I'm testing 10 AI-powered no-code app builders that claim they can build a full SaaS or web app from just a simple prompt. Here's how it's going to work. I'll paste the exact same prompt into each tool, one by one, and generate a basic app. Then, I'll compare the results side by side. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which AI app builder performs best and which one might be perfect for your project. I'll also share my personal top three picks based on their actual performance. So make sure you stick around until the end. The app idea we are building today is called Freelancer Project Manager. Here's the prompt I'm using for all tools. Build a web app for freelancers to manage client projects, tasks, deadlines, invoices, and payments. Include project timelines, task boards, Kanban style, invoice generation, PDF export, client contact book, and income expense tracking. Add secure login, responsive design, and dashboard summary. The 10 AI app builder tools I'll be testing are Bald.new, Glide, Rocket.new, Lovable.dev, Firebase Studio, MGX.dev, Replit Agent, Blackbox AI, V0.dev, and Hero UI. I've already opened all 10 tools and created accounts where necessary. Some of them required email verification while others let me sign up instantly with Google or GitHub. After spending a little time setting each one up, all the platforms are now ready and waiting for my prompt. Now I'm going to paste the exact same prompt into each tool, one by one, and let them do their magic. This part should be simple, or at least that's what I thought. Let's see how they perform. Speed test, glide, black box, and lovable process the prompt almost instantly. Rocket, MGX, and Replit took significantly longer. Hero UI and Firebase Studio ran into immediate issues with errors and configuration problems. Hero UI frustrated me right away. I tried troubleshooting it twice, but the errors kept popping up. Firebase Studio asked for a Jemini API key even though I didn't request AI integration and still threw multiple errors. Rocket prompted me to select a framework and specify the screens before it even began generating. After that, it displayed. I'll take 10 to 25 minutes to build as per your request. Hero UI was the worst in terms of speed. After 20 minutes, it was still generating and optimistically claiming good things take time. Replit didn't show any preview at all. I had to open the generated app manually in a separate browser tab. So this is the first impression of each tool. Now, let's review each tool in detail one by one. First, Bald.new. It started strong by creating a login page with demo Gmail credentials. But once inside, every section, dashboard, clients, projects, tasks, invoices, finances, was completely blank. I clicked, refreshed, and even searched multiple times, but nothing ever loaded. Honestly, not a good first impression. Next, Glide. The UI here is very unique. It named the app Freelance Flow. No login page. But instead, it created a random dummy profile which honestly doesn't make much sense. It did generate pages for tasks, analytics, and records, and categorized tasks into in progress and completed. The real power came when I clicked Let's Glide. It opened a full mobile app builder where I could adjust layouts, add workflows, build tables, change appearance, and basically customize everything. So while it didn't nail the prompt perfectly out of the box, the customization flexibility here is seriously impressive. Now let's check Rocket.new. This one took its sweet time generating, but wow, the results were absolutely worth it. It created all the requested pages, login, dashboard, projects, clients, invoices, payments, everything. Even better, all features actually work. You can create projects, add clients, generate invoices, and everything functions smoothly. It also built in beautiful extras like graphs, deadlines, payment statuses, and nice hover animations. Honestly, Rocket blew my mind. Easily the most complete and polished one so far. Now moving to Lovable.dev, one of the fastest builders to generate results. I had to test it in a fresh Chrome browser since I've already maxed out my credits on my main account. I'll show that full build in another video. It created a working login page, but didn't display any user profile info after login. The functionality was spot on, every feature worked, and unlike Rocket, 
It didn't even ask any follow-up configuration questions after pasting the prompt, which was super convenient. The only thing missing was a bit of visual polish like hover effects. Overall, very solid and extremely fast. Now let's talk about Firebase Studio. This one really tested my patience. It asked for an API key through multiple errors during generation and after a very long wait, finally produced a login page. But after entering credentials, it crashed again with another error. Honestly, very disappointing, especially coming from Google. They seriously need to fix this before promoting it so heavily with ads. Now time for mgx.dev. I pasted the prompt. And after more than two hours, it's still saying, your app is not ready yet. Like seriously, how is this even acceptable? This one was just a huge disappointment. Now let's see what rep lit agent did. It didn't show any preview. I had to open the build manually in a new tab. The UI is very basic. It logged me in automatically without even asking for credentials. When I clicked on create new project, it threw a plugin runtime error. This one's not even close to being usable. Replit team, you've got some serious bugs to fix. Now let's check Blackbox AI. It was one of the fastest to generate. But honestly, the result was terrible. It built a basic login page, but the login functionality didn't even work. If I can't even log in, how am I supposed to trust the rest of the app? Fast, but absolutely unusable. Now let's review v0.dev by Versal. It didn't even bother creating a login page. It dropped me straight into a dashboard, but almost everything was non-functional. The quick add feature exists visually but doesn't work, and trying to create projects or add data failed entirely. Not at all what I expected from a Versal product. Finally, Hero UI. Complete disaster. Even after more than three hours, it was still generating. I actually picked this one after seeing a huge creator on X, Twitter, praising it and comparing it to Lovable and others. But after my experience, both that creator and Hero UI's dev team seriously need to re-evaluate this product. This was hands down the worst of all 10. Now let's get to my final verdict. My top three picks. First place, Lovable.dev. Blazing fast, fully functional, and absolutely zero setup required after submitting the prompt. It delivered everything automatically, making it perfect for quickly building full-featured apps or MVPs with minimal effort. While it lacks a bit of design flair, for speed, simplicity, and accuracy, Lovable absolutely nailed it. Second place, Rocket.new. Took more time to generate, but gave a beautifully polished and fully working app. It added professional design elements like animations, graphs, deadlines, and payment statuses. Rocket is perfect if you're looking for something closer to production ready with minimal extra customization needed. Third place, Glide. While not fully complete out of the box, Glide offers incredible control and customization if you're ready to spend some time building. Its visual builder allows you to tweak every detail. Perfect for people who want more creative freedom. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more of my AI tool experiments and reviews. Drop a comment below and let me know which tool surprised you the most. Or share your own experience if you've tried any of these. See you in the next one.